Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. Still taking advantage of Steam Next Fest and I'm going to be trying Inkulanadi. I think that's how you say it. Inkulanadi um, is a turn-based tactics game with a stylish twist. We're going to be going through some stuff. We'll be looking at the tutorial and then playing some of the main game. Learn the basics. Chapter 1, the Inculinati Masters battle along the margins of medieval manu manus uh, manuscripts. In this encounter, we, with a pack of wild beasts, your tiny Inculinati will be the one to draw your army. What happens during an Inculinati battle? Use a living ink to draw your beasts. Command your beasts to attack enemies. Buff friendly beasts and obtain more living ink. This is your tiny Inculinati. They will help you draw an army. The tiny Inculinati are self-portraits of the real Inculinati. Masters bending over their manuscripts, they are much bigger than their tiny representations. Just wait until you see their hands. You can draw beasts in the fields uh, close to your tiny Inculinati. The arches mark your drawing range. I really hope I'm saying that right, because if I'm not, I'm saying it wrong a lot. <laughs> um, cost of every beast is shown in the drop icon next to its portrait. Okay, so we can make a sword-wielding dog. Pretty strong and resilient for a dog. Has a shield that can block high damage and a sword that can only attack adjacent fields. Can also attack both adjacent fields at once. Alright, we've made a, a fellow sirloin. Oh, but can you pet the dog, though? But can you pet the dog? Newly drawn beasts are drowsy, so they have to take a nap. Oh, summoning sickness, huh? Okay. Inculinati masters to take turns, moving their beasts one at a time. Let your tiny take a nap now and wait await the na next chapter. Tiny Inculinati will take a nap. You'll receive one drop of living ink. If your t tiny Inculinati did not take more than one action during its turn, or two drops if a tiny uses no actions. What is this? Move right. Move the selected objects to the first unoccupied field to the right. You can take this action immediately if there's a beast on the field. Action range. You could use this action immediately if there was a beast on the range, on the field. This means the beast is in range, but you cannot take this action. You cannot push a praying beast even if it is in range. Are they, are they praying or are they sleeping? Well, they are. I was able to move them. Cannot select. Okay, so let's sleep. So we got some, we got some ink. These, um, what are they, fart trick? They're gonna attack me. Moving a beast onto a green field walk range will not end its turn. It can take, still take an action. Once a beast has moved, you cannot switch to a different one. Moving a beast onto a yellow field uh, sprint range or taking an action without any movement will force a beast to take a nap and end its turn. Beast can still take an action after moving in its range. Beast will take a nap. Okay, so green field is good. We can still attack in green fields. You can hover over any beast to view their movement movement and action range. So, you know, if it wasn't for this beast, I'm assuming that we're blocking their movement. Um, they would be able to reach our Inculinati. And I'm assuming once if our Inculinati dies, then we are dead. Once you confirm your target, you will see a moving arrow. If you stop the arrow in the attack zone, your beast will deal the amount of damage drawn. If you stop the arrow on the skull, the enemy beast will be killed. You have a few seconds to stop the arrow. When the time runs out, the arrow will stop randomly. Weird to have a real-time kind of like mini-game mechanic for uh, something like attacking. I don't hate it. It's better than maybe having our, like an RNG mechanic. So we could make another dog. Why don't we do that? I'm not sure there's much reason not to. We'll end. Oh, they can move past me. Oh, that's not good. Inculinati hand actions. In addition to drawing beasts, tiny Inculinati has a secret weapon, hand actions. 
Unlike other beasts, the tiny Inkulinani can perform any number of available actions during their turn. Select the tiny Inkulinati, then choose the SWAT action and target an enemy. If the target is out of range, you can, uh, you can move your tiny closer with another hand action. Okay. So let's, let's try that. Let's try a hand action. SWAT. This does 5 damage. We can probably kill this far trick. Splat. Some actions have a cooldown. This means that once you use them, you can't use them again for a certain number of chapters. Time for a nap. I'm sure you can handle your enemies on your own. Wake me up when you're done. Beast has already moved. Cannot select another beast. I see. So you can only move... You can only do one thing per turn. And then once you've done it, you're done. So this guy can hit two things at once. Seems like a lot. Splat. I'm assuming, well we can't, we can, uh, oh, apparently we can attack with this guy too. No, I, I guess I don't understand how, how I can uh, attack with multiple things at once. I thought, I guess maybe if you use your tiny, then um, you, you can't do anything else. Now you see that I'm the greatest and Kulinati master of all time. End. All right, not so bad so far. Choose between move left and move right. The selected beast, friend or enemy will move onto the first unoccupied field in the chosen direction. No unoccupied field, too bad. That means the beast will fall into the abyss and die. Deadliest and Kulinati technique. Beasts will be pushed into the first unoccupied field. What does pushing do? Push an enemy into the abyss or the apocalyptic fire to kill them instantly. You can push using your beasts or your tiny in Kulinati. You can push battlefield elements to foil your opponent's plan. Kill. So we can move this guy, they will just die. And then we can move this guy left. Wow. And we win. This cannot be. I appreciate the look and aesthetic of this game. I also appreciate the mechanics. Oh, cinematic. What? <laughs> what? I was not seeing that coming. This game brought to you by Ridley Scott. Welcome, O future champion of Inculinati, Chapter One. Two masters of the living ink, Inculinati, will duel on the margins of an ancient manuscript. This is your entry exam. You'll be playing as Godfrey in a duel against Hildegard, the Holy Church Reformer. Uh, as a unique beast, unlike the others, they cannot walk on their own. You need to push your tiny friend in order for them to move. In order to win an Inculinati duel, you must destroy your opponent. Opponent's uh, tiny Inculinati. To do so, either reduce its health to zero or push it into the abyss or the fire of the apocalypse. Here you can see how much living ink each Inculinati currently has. Keep an eye on it. So we probably want to move to the right. Just to just to put give ourselves a safety room, you know, margin of error, basically. That's a that's a um, printing joke for you. Margin of error. G get get it? Yeah. Sword uh, attacks deal the most damage, although they can only uh, target adjacent fields. Spear attacks can reach up to two fields away. Okay, so actually we want a sword. To learn more about the rules, press the assigned hint button. Okay, so we want a we want a sword, doggo. 
And uh, do we have enough for another one? We can make a spear doggo as well. And um, we can swat. We don't need to though. We'll sleep. Wee. Wee. Chapter two. You can collect the living ink by sending, standing on an ink blot. You will receive three drops of living ink for each beast standing on an ink blot at the end of the chapter. Move or push, push your beast onto an ink blot. Okay. Ink will be collected once all the beasts finish their turns and take a nap. Don't move your beast until the end of the chapter. Confused? Don't know what to do? If you can't attack an enemy, pray or take a nap. Okay, we're good. This beast is already moved. Cannot select another beast. So how come we could that last time? Push. Pray. Makes the uh, target unpushable. Sure, let's pray. Praying will cause the beast to execute a more powerful attack on its next turn. They are unpushable until the next turn, meaning they can't be thrown into the abyss. They also can't be pushed off the ink blot. Oh, wow. That's quite the range we have there. Okay, we'll move our spear dude forward. Um, attacks an adjacent field and the one behind it can be used every two chapters. Attacks up to two fields away or one level away. Let's, uh, let's do that. Oof, that's fast and tricky. Um, and we'll sleep. We are gonna get five ink. Nice. We'll definitely want to create some more units for us. He's gonna shoot our ink again. Switch between your active beasts by pressing assigned keys. If you're playing with a mouse, you may also switch by clicking on a beast you wish to use. After either moving or using an action, you cannot switch to another beast. So this doggo is still doing their thing, but it seems I can move them now. So let's move them uh, over here. And, oh, they're no longer unpushable. And then we're going to kill this rabbit. So our accuracy went down. They've summoned another creature. So it seems like we can move this other dog. I'm, I'm not really sure exactly how that works. I am confused, but that's okay. Actually, wait, let's uh, let's do an impalement. Attack AOE, is, uh, AOE attacks allow you to hit multiple enemies at once. I did know this. Oh, that's tricky. So we could like maybe um, nail them both if we're if we're lucky. Let's uh let's move ourselves to the right, a little bit by bit, and uh, we'll create a bow wielding dog on the ink blot so that we get some more ink, and uh, we'll sleep. Apocalyptic fire. So if we move our dude enough, we can possibly push the enemy straight into the fire. Yo, this, uh, this music got pretty, pretty banging suddenly. If your tiny Unkulinati ends up on a field of apocalyptic fire, push them off of it to save them. Similarly, you can push the enemy into a fire and watch them perish. Kill the enemy with attacks, push them out of the battlefield, or let the apocalypse get them. Um, let's uh, move the do the sword doggo over and start hitting the, the enemy for some nice damage. Oh, we can actually kill them, maybe. Yes! Win! Now you see that I'm the greatest. I should have seen that coming, the time of penitent... Uh, Penitence is upon me. What? Outstanding, you've made it to the academy. You can continue practice in the academy or take your final exam and set off. Let's, uh... Wait, so there's intermediate. 
Now let's uh, let's try our journey. Mm, difficulty normal. For diligent students. We get to we have character customization. <laughs> oh, I like the goblin. That's that's fun. Um we have different beasts. We can maybe Maybe we can switch certain creatures out. No, it, do it doesn't seem to be the case. Sword wielding rabbit. I wonder if um, different beasts have different stats. I think that's true because I'm seeing four or five. Whereas rabbits, no, they're 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 more or less the same. And what is this? Health healing. So instead of SWAT, we could have healing. And what's this talent? Each halo increases the beast's damage and accuracy by one. Will also remove heresy. Decrease by one when the beast takes a nap. Living ink. Basic resources. Grants four drops of living ink. What does this one do? Hand actions used on friendly beasts increase their halo level. Okay. This is our character screen. I'm wondering if this is the full game experience or just the demo. Uh, today you you will pass your final exam, become an Inkula Ma Nadi master, and then set off on your Inkula Nadi journey. You will still have to face a wild beast encounter before you can take your exam, though. Just select the wild beast encounter icon. Tiny Inkula Nadi versus wild beast encounters are marked with a sword and quill icon. The enemy Tiny Inkula Nadi is not present in this type of battle. Once you enter a location, you cannot leave it. Choose carefully. Okay. There's a there's a lot involved here. This guy looks like a, an Inkulinati. You encounter various beasts, battlefield elements, and random events. If you spot a beast in an, or an element you haven't seen before, use hints and instructions to learn more. Press the assigned button to toggle hints. Okay, the game is uh, very much made for, um, with controllers in mind, which I do appreciate actually. So this clothing chest, needs to be moved before you can stand in this field. Blocks line of sight for attackers. We have tons of ink, so we can, uh, we can possibly gain quite a bit of resources right away. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make some sword dudes for now. I mean, we can't make any more, but we're gonna gain quite a lot right now. We are also on ourselves, like ourselves, on an ink blot. So they're gonna do me the solid of breaking that right now. Uh, collecting ink in wild encounters is important too. For every 12 drops of living ink drained, you'll receive a special bonus. All of your beasts will regain some health and obtain positive status effects. Fun. What is this? Here comes the butt. It causes an enemy to take a nap, get a headache, and decrease their accuracy. This action won't work if the target is facing your beast. <laughs> uh, fun. Okay. I don't want to push. I don't want to pray. I want to move. And then we're gonna we're gonna smack him. Smack. We're still on an ink blot, so we're gonna gain more resources. They're gonna they're gonna, gonna smack that. They didn't quite destroy it. Let's move over here and do some damage. Can we so can we butt them? Okay, we've given them a mighty debuff <laughs> by showing them our butt. You could say that's a debut. You could say that. You would be wrong, but. Beast has already moved, cannot select another. Okay, so let's, can we swat? We can swat. Let's do that. Smacko. And we'll sleep. So 
more enemies, ink drizzle, new environments showing up. What is this ink drizzle? <laughs> I'm assuming we took more damage because we were facing away from them. By showing off a fluffy butt, this piece can force an enemy units to take a nap and inflicts a headache. Okay, let's uh let's move over here and then do some more damage to them maybe. Oh, that was awful. I I I messed that up royally. It's okay. We're going to get some more ink. Let's move this guy over here. And we'll move this lad over here. We'll get some more ink. Um, well, let's make a bow, bow, bow bunny. Wenbert. I see. So in each chapter, you get to move each of your characters individually. I was a little confused, but now I, I, I've got it. Oh no, they killed my bunny. He's going to stay there. We'll have um, our spearmen sprint over and probably take a nap. Um, can we reach? We can reach this rabbit. Wait, what? Can I not reach this, this lad over here? Okay, hold on. Let's move over here. We should be able to reach them now. Yes. And we could possibly kill them. Yes. Nice. Revenge. That's for my compatriot. Winning. Me likey. This is depressing. Congrats. <laughs> nice, uh, a nice bit of humor in this game. Boredom status. What does this mean? Got prestige, gold, beasts. Got some new beasts. Select a new beast. Mighty dog. Oh, a Sir Snail. Oh, I kind of like like that. You know what? I don't even care if the snail is bad. I'm going to take the snail. Your health regenerates a little after each battle. And by now, many how many points, you may ask? Like it is said in the beginning, that depends on your difficulty. What if I lose all my health? Your health drops at zero, the battle is lost. When you lose a battle, you'll be restored to full health and lose one quill. If you lose a battle and don't have any quills left, your journey is over. And Kulinati gets tired of drawing beasts. Every time they draw beasts, their boredom level goes up. The higher the boredom, the more ink it costs to draw a beast. Now repeat. Um, higher the boredom, the more ink it costs to draw a beast. That's right. To increase boredom, draw different beasts in your next battle. Fight a beast versus beast battle or visit the chapel. Got it? Yes. Okay. Um, can we, we... We have all of our beasts equipped. It's not like one of those games where you gotta... Oh wait, change army. Okay, I think we do have them all equipped. It looks like maybe we can only have four equipped, so we're okay for now. We can see what kind of level we have, so we have uh, different layers now. Sometimes your beast will need to move up or down level on a battlefield. Non-flying beasts can use ladders to go up or down. Flying beasts don't need to. can sometimes use beasts, actions, and even attack enemies on different layers. Not with a sword, though. Check the action range to see if your beast can reach the enemy standing on a different level. So we have a spear-wielding rabbit already. Let's uh, let's have him stay there. What is this healing cloud? Oh, I see that. That's very <laughs> self-explanatory. Um, I want to make the snail. Oh, wow, they cost a lot, don't they? All right, well, why don't we just, like, wait a turn? And then uh, maybe we can make the snail on the next turn. Oof. Can I attack back? Yes, I can. Not not for a lot of damage, but that's okay. All right, I should be able to make a snail now. No, no, no. You can steer your eyes around. 
Okay. Um, so let's attack them back. They're facing away from me, so I don't think that this will work. Won't work if the target isn't facing a beast, yeah. So let's just hit them. We can actually kill them very easily. I think you do do damage. Sorry, do more damage if the creature in question is facing away. I'm assuming they can hit our dude. Yes, they can. We're taking some pretty nasty damage. We can hit them back, though. Nice. Um, gonna want to move our dude onto some healing clouds. <laughs> I like that our hand is blue. All right, we should we can make the um, the snail now. Asterid, the snail. Swat. Can we kill this lad? Yeah, we can. Let's kill them. Ooh. Chapter three. Um. All right. So I want to. I want. I have high hopes for this snail. But let's. Uh, one thing at a time. Let's move our spearmen over here. And we're gonna do some really nice damage. Oh, we might actually be able to kill them. Oh, never mind. That was the uh, barrel I was able to kill there. If I use my cleave attacker, or whatever it's called. I uh, wonder if there's an undo button. Well, it doesn't matter too much because I just wanted to move them there. Okay, so our snail, slow yet deadly unit, can only attack adjacent fields, devours enemies and battlefield elements. Wow. Okay. Let's have them eat this... Uh, Barrel. Oh. Wow. They also that also moves them forward, so we're gonna gain quite a lot of ink in this next turn. Yay. Technically that counts as petting, so you can technically pet the dog in this game. Okay, the do the donkey just like fart tooted at us. That's good. Apocalyptic fire. Well, that's fine. We should be able to win in the next round Because I'm pretty sure the snail is an insta kill ink drizzle No Win I'm filled with pride congratulations. You did it somehow. I should have uh, done moved our dude over because they they I took quite a bit of damage on that that turn. Oh, we get most of it back. That's okay. We are gonna get bored of drawing some of these things though. So we get a new beast. Oh, Bishop Cat. Got it. You gotta take the Bishop Cat. Prestige allows you to choose dialogue options of unavailable to puny peasants. Being famous does have it, its advantages. Thank you, Master. I love you, Master. You will now visit a non-combat location. Here you won't face a battle, but a decision that will affect your resources. Hover your cursor over a location to view details. Thank you. Um, spend gold to permanently increase your starting living ink. Spend gold to permanently increase, increase your starting health. I like this ink business. Uh, we need more prestige for this. I'm too famous to spend gold. I'm going to take advantage of my celebrity status. Or, I am very rich and important. Give me the secret scriptures. I'm showing my disdain for you in order to seem unavailable and lonely. Plus 25 prestige. But we're more bored. Sure. Let's gain prestige. You have reached the end of the tiny map. At the end of each map, an Inkulamati Nadi Master awaits. Defeating them in battle will allow you to continue your journey. But first you will have to defeat me to pass the final exam. What should I focus on in these battles? Most importantly, you need a large diversity of beasts. Always bring the maximum of five beasts with you. You'll soon be getting some beasts, so plan your strategy. Thanks for the talk, now let's fight. Uh, rumors say whoever tries your cookies will get better deals. You look kind of shady, I won't buy a thing. Now, show me what you've got. Um, hand actions. What is this? Draw a barrel. Oh, that's cool. More health. 
Blessing increases the level of a friendly beast halo by two. Spear wielding dog, bow wielding dog. Um, well, we've already got those in rabbit form, so I don't. I guess we okay. We could decrease our boredom. I didn't actually mean to do that, but okay. It's uh, my finger slipped a little bit. What are you doing? That doesn't make sense, Master. I'm here to take the final exam. Oh, the exam was splendid. There's going to be lots of farts and explosions. Just what Master likes best. All of our creatures are uh, equipped. We can have five total. They just confirmed that. Um, there, we're going to be fighting Cook Exploder, Bean Exploder, Hat Exploder, Jaw Exploder. Lots of Exploders. Ooh, a lot of verticality in this level. In Kulinati, Scribers get b often bored when drawing the same beasts over and over. Depending on your difficulty setting, each beast you draw during your journey, its boredom level will increase. The amount of living ink needed to draw a beast is increased by the amount of boredom. If you don't draw a certain beast during the battle, your boredom, boredom level will go down by one. Make sure you use different types of beasts in your battle. You'll do. You'll be fine. Okay. Um, well, we should be able to move. Let's, uh, oh, I can't move over there. Let's just, like, go straight for it and also get some ink. Oh! Wow, are they dead dead? Yeah, they are. Wow. Okay. You know, I deserve that, honestly. Can hit up to two fields away or one level away, as well as reach enemies hiding behind obstacles. Can restore health by purring and put a halo on friendly beasts. Is anointed. I think the spear-wielding rabbit is going to be worthwhile. I definitely am going to want the snail again. So let's just uh, let's just put a bunch of dudes on some ink so we can collect ink as quickly as possible. We can also put ourselves on some ink. So we're going to get nine ink. This is good. Can he reach us from here? Yes, he can. Ouch. You should know that I can force my beast to explode. I do so love the smell of explosions in the morning. I even get an extra drop of living ink for it. Not only can they explode on command, they also explode when someone kills them. Did I mention they explode, though? We can't reach them, I bet. Not with anything. Well, we can debuff them, though. So let's debuff them. Nice. Slouchy. This guy uh, has pretty good AI, so I, I have a, a horrible feeling I'm, I'm not going to do very well. I'm hoping they, he can't reach me from there, but he totally can, actually. But he's already moved, used both his swipes, so he shouldn't be able to right now. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about our situation, but it is what it is. Uh, why don't we push this barrel... There you go. So we're good. So now it is um, our main lad. I'm gonna make a spearman. And put them on the ink. Um. Uh, oh no, okay. I think we're good. I don't know if there's anything else we can do really. Hoping we do not la lose our swordsman here. Ouch. You can encounter different apocalypse types in the Inkulinati world. What are they? Find out more in the instructions tab. We should be able to kill this lad. I'm a little bit worried that they're going to explode when they die, though. And kill our Weebert. Oh no, he's dead. 
So they will kill them. Let's see how much damage they do when they explode. Five. Not great. Uh, we're gonna need more dudes. Kinda wanna just like hold out. Let's you know what? Let's make the cat bishop and then we can heal our our dude. New beast, Bishop Cat. Can heal friendly beasts and increase their attack strength through blessing. Is anointed, so anyone who dares attack it automatically becomes a heretic. Cat deals double damage to heretics. Nice. I still want our snail. Oh no. Ugh. I, I, I don't think I'm doing very well right now. So what is this fire? Tell me, tell me about the fire. Um, this type of damage skips the dexterity. Fire sparks a battlefield element that you can stand on. Deals three damage to beasts and tinies. Standing on it at the end of a chapter. Okay, so we're about to die and I don't think there's anything I can do about it. We did get kind of unlucky, but I also just didn't play very well. Um, I want to, can we, if we can heal my dude, affects a single chosen target. Heals five health of any friendly beast. Any friendly beast, but not our new, not our dude. Gives double halo to a friendly beast. Attacks up to two fields away. Okay, so I, I, we, we lose. <laughs> There's... Oh, maybe, maybe we can push our Inkulinati. Hold on. Push them. Yes! We don't lose. Not, not yet. Soon, though. <laughs> okay, can we do anything with our lad here? He's got... He can just barely not make it to them, so he's probably going to die. We can uh, show them our butt. Um, wondering what we should do next. We could uh, sprint this guy up there. They would take three damage, but we would guarantee we can do some damage on the on the enemy. There's a very good chance we're gonna die. Oh my god. We could end up drawing having <laughs> that's that's a pun, you see. We could end up having a draw in this game. Move, push, pray. Increases the level of the halo level. Push immunity. I thought we had a special attack with the spear. We did the maximum damage, that's kind of nice. Please do not kill me. He killed me. Okay, well we lose. Um, I, I lost, but that's not the game's fault. It's a it's a actually a really deep game. Um, and it's it's got a lot of stuff going on that I would need uh, I would probably need to lose a few times before I, I had a better idea of how to play properly. But I really appreciate what I'm seeing here. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. Um, I appreciate like kind of the simplicity of like the resource gathering, stuff like that. But like the, the way the characters, each character moves and attacks, um, there's, a, there's a lot of depth there that I'm not uh, yet understanding fully. Um, and I'm probably just not playing very efficiently. But 
Anyway, I, uh, if you enjoyed this and if you've played Inculinati, please let me know in the comments and hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.